what's up so all those cameos all easter eggs all the little bit of extras of stuff that people that was a horrible sentence but i'm sticking with it you know what i mean hopefully uh, all that little bit of stuff that people have in their books, their movies, their video games, etc., TV shows, I love those extras that people put in there. Some things you just have to look for and kind of count how many times it happens. Like this, for instance, every Stanley Marvel movie cameo up to Black Panther. I that's one of my most beloved things as far as movie goes, like because it's one of the most longest longest running things, and I look forward to seeing if I could, if I uh, actually seen them all. If you have or if you missed any, let me know in the comments below. Do be sure to support the official release. The link will be in the description below to this original video. And I have a story time at the end of this, a little short story of how I ended up in the same room as Stanley. You actually, if you check my video, there's my uh, text tone from my phone. Um, what's, what's it called? Uh, one of my original videos, one of my first videos on this channel is actually the video I'm, I'm going to be talking about. So if you haven't seen it, uh, check it out. The link will also be in the description below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Boom. Stan Lee helped Ooh, create some scene. of our favorite Goose Marvel bumps. heroes, so it makes sense that he's made a point to have a cameo in all of their live-action adaptations. I would do the same, back honestly. All his many I would. Marvel movie cameos up until Infinity War. Up until Infinity War. The title says differently, but I'm not complaining. Stan's cameo in 2000's X-Men is very subtle. You can oh. easily miss him standing in the background selling hot dogs. I haven't Senator seen this Robert movie in so long. I'm going to count that beach. as a miss for me. I don't remember seeing it. In 2002's Spider-Man, Stan has an equally so blink and you'll miss so it cameo as Green Goblin attacks. I saw that one. I loved all the Spider-Man. Daredevil sees Young Andrew Catalog Toby saving and Stan's Tom. life in one of his last dialogue-free cameos. <laughs> the Eric starring Hulk I never saw Daredevil, so that's getting two. some lines as he and former Hulk Lou Ferrigno cameo side by side. Security ought to be beefed up a lot more in a uh, place like this. You can't. In 2004, Spider-Man 2, yeah. Stan is back to wrestling. That was a good cameo. I love that one a lot. Destruction, though he was upgraded to getting some dialogue this time around. <laughs> In 2005, Fantastic Four's dialogue-heavy cameo proved to be a sign of things to come in Marvel Cinematic Universe yes. movies, where Stan would go on to have very intentionally intrusive and funny appearances. He grew as a character. Yes. Meanwhile, his X-Men The I'm Last Stand lot. cameo is a quick hit in the film. <laughs> no, I'm not. Stan was quite chatty during his sorry. cameo in Spider-Man 3. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. Wink, wink. <laughs> Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer sees Stan playing a version of himself, possibly an imposter. Either way, not getting into Sue and Reed's wedding. Yeah, get out of here, you phony. In Iron Man, Stan portrayed a different a iconic publisher. Oh, yeah, he the Incredible Hulk saw him getting his own scene as he suffered from severe gamma poisoning. A man drank one of those Garana sodas. If you play Lego Avengers 2, you get to play as a Hulk Stan. It's more. awesome. You have to unlock him, though. Worth it. I'm gonna silence my phone. <laughs> Iron Man 2 had him portraying Larry King, while Thor had him that trying fit. to move the God of Thunder's hammer Mjolnir. Did it work? <laughs> Stan traveled back in time in Captain America the First Avenger to appear in the audience of Cap's failed press conference. I thought he'd be taller. Poking fun at his own that involvement joke never in creating Marvel Super Team, Stan's Avengers cameo. I don't know. That joke always makes me laugh for some reason. New York cameo. When the Spider-Man franchise was rebooted with 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man, Stan continued his tradition of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, though he didn't seem to notice. That's one of my favorite cameos. One of my favorite ones. Stan's appearance in Iron Man 3 was no care in the world. Miss. But in Thor The Dark World, Ooh. he had a funny interaction with Stellan Skarsgård's Eric Ooh. Selvig. Can I have my shoe back? <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll count that as three, because I missed, I think America I missed uh, the one Soldier. before the Iron Man the 3 exhibit one. honors Cap's memory, and Stan notably made his comics debut in Captain America number three way back in 1941. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Stan gets favorite. a more extended cameo as the only person who seems to notice that Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. <laughs> I think I know that guy. Rocket Raccoon roasts Stan in the first Guardians of the Galaxy, calling him a, quote, Class A prevert as he flirts with a woman on Xandar. 
Big Hero 6, which is technically a Marvel movie, marks the Big first Hero and 6. only animated cameo on this list. Stan's reveal as Fred's dad is an emotional climax for the movie and one of his more Hold sub. Up. I gotta pause the video here real quick. Big Hero 6 is confirmed for Kingdom Hearts 3. If they can get Stan Lee to reappear in Kingdom Hearts, you know how amazing that would be? I, I would, I'd be floored. Literally, I would be floored. Okay, we're going back to the video. Boom. Stanshall cameos. The Avengers sequel sees Stan Lee sizing himself up against Thor's cosmically aged liquor. It doesn't really go well, but it does let Stan drunkenly mutter his signature catchphrase. Oh, Egg shell shield. And then he died right after. <laughs> in Ant-Man, Stan has a teeny tiny cameo in one of the funniest sequences in the movies, wherein he's voiced by Michael Pena. Yeah, crazy stupid fun. In probably his raunchiest appearance, I thought it was Stan hilarious how they added more emotion to their voice, MC. to their faces as they did that to the expressions. In I mean. Captain America: Civil War, Stan lightens the mood as a FedEx delivery man who misreads Tony Stark's name as Tony, Tony Stank. Stank. <laughs> You're in the right place. Thank you for that. X-Men Apocalypse continues the X-Men franchise's trend of not giving Stan any lines as he gawks at nuclear missiles taking off. That was cute, because that, that, that was his Stan actual wife he was holding. To Doctor Strange and Mordo's trouble in the realms. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 gives this entire list of cameos some new context. Stan is seen with the Watchers observing the Guardians zipping away in the Milano, and the implication <laughs> is that every time we've seen Stan, in the MCU at least, it's all the same person. Hey, you were supposed That's to really be cool. my That's really cool. I'm glad home. they did that. How will I get out of here? Hey, oh, gee, I've got so many more stories to tell. Just follow them. Stan you never know where they'll Spider-Man Homecoming to call Spidey a punk him. from his queen's apartment. Stan pops up in Thor Ragnarok as the Grandmaster's hairdresser where he's tasked with cutting off Thor's iconic locks. He did a good job, though. I would trust him as my barber, not with that thing, though. Kind of, you know, Give me some hair. clippers. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not I'm least, good. Stan shows up in Black Panther's casino scene as an elderly gambler who offers to keep an eye on T'Challa's winnings for safekeeping. Yeah, yep. Stan, sure. <laughs> that is every Stanley cameo that's available on home video so far. What's your favorite? Let us know in the comments below, oh, and for man. more Marvel, check out the Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline in chronological order, and for all things MCU, Ooh. be sure to like and subscribe to IGN on your platform of choice. I wondered about that too. I should take a look into that because I always wondered the the chronological order for some of the movies. Some of them are kind of obvious, like obviously Captain America was one of the earliest ones. Uh, while Thor is one of the oldest characters as far as the Avengers team goes, he his movie didn't technically start until as far as like him in the actually no if he's that age because they showed Thor as a kid. And Thor, so technically Thor was actually well, no, because we who knows how how uh, how the stages go, like how how old is he as a kid? Is it does it is it like human until is it like human years years till he gets to an adult? Then it's like slows rapidly because I think you said he's like fifteen hundred years old or something like that. I don't remember, but um, if you enjoyed this video, do be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know of any future content you want to see from me in the future. And by the way, that uh, story I wanted to tell you guys about. So I, my very first Comic-Con I went to back in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, this was my first Comic-Con, and I had my own booth there with my own artwork debuting a book I had made. And what happened was there was this hotel not too far. It was like across the street from the convention center. And they were doing an auction there for... Uh, childhood for childhood cancer so all the all the money that was made there would go towards donating for the kids so I actually auctioned off one of my pieces there and as a as a surprise visit Stanley was he was already in the convention himself as a as a uh, greeter not a greeter but as someone who can sign stuff and just say hey to all the fans and I already knew from the get-go, I was like, I'm, I know I'm not going to meet this guy. There's going to be a huge line. It's going to be, it's going to cost the arm and leg that I don't have because it cost me so much to get this booth together, together, <laughs> together. And what happened after that was surprising because he was at that auction. He came in out of nowhere and thanked the the woman who was organizing the host to, um, sorry, my neck is really itchy. She congratulated the host he congratulated the host of doing this for so many years and said how he really cared about the person and all this. I got it on video. 
And I was like, it was so crazy. I was sitting in my chair and I was like, as soon as I see him walking into the room, everyone was clapping. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, that is Stan the man. They're, what? And I'm just sitting here and I have a camera in my lap and I'm not, I'm just so starstruck. And my, my cousin, she's like, yo, Stan, get your camera. I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. And so I started filming it. And unfortunately he left before, you know, obviously he, he had people, his security guards there and, and left. And, you know, so we couldn't talk to him and everything without, you know, just for security reasons. And that was my first ever time actually being in the same room as Stanley and actually seeing him and hearing him in person. Like, I, I hope to actually one day meet him and shake his hand one day, hopefully soon. But I thought I'd talk to you guys about that. That was my little story time for you. So until the wind hits our sails yet again, I will see you in the next Odyssey. There it is. Whew.